so for another tutorial. I know it's been kind of a while since I did my last tutorial, but uh, we're definitely not stopping our videos. We're coming up with new ones, and I just got a new uh, video editor, Sony Vegas 10.0. So my videos are going to be a lot better with new intros and cool stuff like that. Alright, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how to get um, GBA, uh, Game Boy Advance, and all those type of emulators to be fully played and fully functional on your computer, just right from home, all for free. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is go to dopebronx.com. Like always, I put all the links in the description, so you don't have to read that up there really much. Um, yeah, so you're going to want to go to emulators, which will be on the left-hand corner. And then you're, you're going to look at all these emulators that you can get. Most of them, I mean, some of them don't work. Like, the ones that are, like, kind of fake and really don't work at all are, like, Nintendo DS and, like, Microsoft Xbox. But the simple ones, like Nintendo and Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and Super Nintendo, stuff like that, uh, really work well in Nintendo 64. But anything past, like, PlayStation 1, really, it's kind of useless. They should really remove it. I tried it already. Alright, so you're going to want to go to Game Boy Advance emulator. And click on that. You can do it for any emulator. You can try all of them, but like I said, some of them work. And you're going to want to pick the uh, top one, Visual Boy Advance. It's the highest rated, and it's like one of the best GBA and Game Boy uh, original emulators, so you're going to want to click on that. Wait for that to connect. Alright, yeah, so you're going to want to scroll down and download the Visual Boy Advance emulator. This is the thing that will work if you want to play GBA ROMs, which I'll show you how to do. Those are games that you can download for your computer to be played in this um, emulator. So you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna want to extract it in like WinZip or WinRAR or anything like that that you have on your computer, the type of program. I'll include the links if you don't have it. I'll include the links to download WinRAR or WinZip. I use WinZip, so. But yeah, no viruses, completely virus free. It's just one little file and it takes like a few seconds to download, literally. So you're gonna want to open up that file. Copying is another file that you really don't need that. Uh, and I'm just going to extract this Visual, Visual Boy Advance emulator to my desktop. And once you open it, no games are going to play because you haven't downloaded any uh, ROMs for it, which are games, GBA or Game Boy original games. So it's just going to come up as a small black screen. I just uh, maximized it. Alright, so you're going to want to put that on your desktop. Oh, this is all trash. Alright, so this is on my desktop. Now you're going to want to get ROMs, which are games that you can get for this emulator. And it has a huge selection of games, so you're going to want to go to ROMs and sections on the left-hand side. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find Game Boy Advance. Alright, there it is. Game Boy Advance GBA. It has 30,511 games. So I'll pick a game like Grand Theft Auto Advance. Alright, so let me just find it. Sorry guys, I actually had trouble finding the actual ROM. My computer wasn't loading for some reason and I just searched it up on Google. I just searched uh, dope ROMs Grand Theft Auto Advance and it came up with here. Alright, so Grand Theft Auto Advance for the Game Boy Advance works completely with Visual Boy Advance, which was the emulator that we just installed a few moments ago. So we're going to want to download that ROM. And it's going to bring you to another screen. And you're going to want to click download again. And once again, this is all free and virus free. Alright, you're going to want to open that with WinRAR. Uh, you're going to extract just like you did with the emulator. And just wait for that to download, basically. Yeah, once again, sorry, my computer is really slow today. So that took about like one minute to download five megabytes. So, once again, that would come up as a WinRAR file, and this should pop up if you have WinRAR and stuff like that. So, it should come up as just one file. Ignore the two dots, that's just a repeat. So, it should come up with one file, and you're going to want to drag that file to your desktop or anywhere where you want to keep your games and emulators. What I do to keep organized, I just keep all my games and emulators in one folder. New folder. I don't know. Alright, so, here we're going to uh, uh, load that emulator again. And once again, it comes up as a black screen because you haven't loaded any ROMs. All you simply have to do when you actually have games, uh, click on the game, left click, and just drag it into the box right there, and it should come up. Obviously, slow quality when it's maximized, but when it's minimized, it's perfect. So you're just going to want to load it and go with the game. You can hear the sound back there. It includes sound too, so it's really good. Here it comes. 
fucking new game. Yeah, once again, I stopped it because I needed to adjust the controls because I wasn't really sure when I got the emulator uh, what I had to press to actually uh, configure this game out. Alright, so just, wanna get, just load a new game. I'm just going to show you that it actually works and it's legitimate and all that. And yeah, the the old GBA cutscenes for this game. It's really good. I'm just gonna skip through the text. Just gonna show you guys that it works. Just wait one second. Yeah, everything works. No, either way, this is the GBA once again, the US version for um, the Game Boy Advance, uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, and it's full game, it's all free, virus free, and don't worry about it. All right, thanks guys. Please rate, subscribe, comment, any questions, and thank you.